This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Dana versus Trujillo. You all have been together for four years. You're married. You have one child together. And this relationship, which started online, may go offline permanently. It all depends on what happens today. Is that right, Ms. Dana? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You've initiated this case. Tell us why. I came here today because we got married and after the honeymoon, everything went downhill. It went downhill right after the honeymoon? Yes. And all because you believe... He is cheating. Ah, uh, that's not true. So how did we end up with this short-lived honeymoon, Mr. Trujillo? Um, the relationship originally was meant to start out as just a one-night stand and that was it. Wow. But it must have been something about her that made you decide you want to get married. She kind of grew on me as time went on, I guess you could say. Do you see what you're saying is causing her pain? She is standing there crying. This is the woman you stood in front of somebody and said, I'll be with her. Good, bad, or indifferent. At this point, any more with her accusations, her feelings don't mean anything to me. Oh. Oh, boy. All right. Miss Dana, what were the warning signs for you that something was going on? He goes into the other room when he has a phone call Mm. and talks to other women. That's not true. How do you know it's other women? From the past, he has cheated on me. Mm. That's not true. Okay. And so, based on those behaviors when he was cheating before... You're seeing those same behaviors now. Correct. All right. And all this has led you to believe there's got to be somebody else in the picture. That's why you've had this change in your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, Mr. Trujillo, you have talked about how these accusations have just shut you down. But I'm still trying to get to the core of your relationship before the accusations started. There are times where when we're together, you know, I'm very happy, you know, and... uh, I'm not, I'm not even looking at other women. I'm just having fun with her. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So, so, one more question. One okay, more question. So, so, is it fair to say that you loved her at some point? Yes, I do. You love her now? My love for her has dwindled. Okay. Right. And you've fallen out because of the accusations? Not completely, but I'm starting to. Okay. Mm-hmm. But now these cheating allegations have surfaced and... It is just really just torn you all apart. Yes. Have you found anything that makes you think he's cheating? So we were driving in the car and I was on the phone with my mother and she had me write a phone number down. So I asked Lou where the pen was and he said it's in the driver's um, glove box. So I looked in there and I found condoms. All right. Okay. Do you all use condoms? No, we do not. All right. I, I, I don't mean to laugh about it, but I, I am only because of the fact that I had gone over to my mother's house previously before that. I'm not so, seeing the connection between mom and the when, foul condos. <laughs> Help me real when, quick, when I, get there somewhere. <laughs> when, when I went to my mother's house and I did what I needed to do, she goes, oh, wait a minute, one more thing before you go, wait here. So I stood there, she went to her bedroom and she came back and she said, hold out your hand. I held out my hand and she stuck the condoms in my hand and she said, use these next time you have sex with Kelsey. I don't want you to have any more children with her. I'm done raising grandkids. So your own mother doesn't want you to have any more kids yeah. with your wife? No. Wow. And did you say, mom, that's none of your business? Mom, I'm not going to... I mean, what did you do to defend your wife in this situation? I laughed about it. Oh, he's a mama's boy. Miss Dana, did you know about this? Did you know that's how he came to get those condoms? I think it's full of malarkey. You don't, you don't believe it. I my mother it. on the phone and because she, because she asked me and she was accusing me and I said, you know, I said, you don't believe me? She goes, no. So I called my mom on um, the Bluetooth in the car and I told my mom, I said, hey, did you give me these condoms or not? My mom started laughing and she goes, why, is Kelsey mad? I said, she's sitting next to me in the car. She's very upset. And my mom said, uh, Kelsey, you need to calm down. I gave them to him as a joke. There, she said, he's not cheating on you. 
she said, you, you just need to get over your insecurities. Well, we have a... Yeah, right. I a do. statement uh, that was submitted to the court from your mother, and her name is Miss Alma Sanchez. This is your mother speaking, and it reads, I went to my doctor's office and saw a bowl saying, free condoms, take one. I took it upon myself to get about five condoms. When I got home, I woke Lou up and said, hey, I got a present for you and gave them to him. I told Lou that I didn't want him to make any more kids with Kelsey. If I could have predicted how bad their relationship would turn out, I would have gave Lou the condoms years ago. Wow. Oh, okay. So- well, I think it's true. She's not your biggest fan. No, I don't like her. Okay, I think it's mutual. What other reason do you believe that he's cheated? I had saw that his desktop was open, and I looked, and it was a sex site. Okay, when you say a sex site, how to, pictures, videos? Dirty pictures. Dirty pictures, him sending messages to other females. And I confronted him, and I said, if you want to stay married, stay married. But... If we don't fix this, this marriage is over. I don't know why she's upset about it, to be honest with you. Be- only because of the fact that we had discussed previously when we were dating before and even when we got married and through the marriage about possibly spicing up our relationship by Not swinging true. or having threesomes. Not true, Your Honor. No, yes, it Not is. Not this way. It's 100% true. Did you see anything to these other women? The one message that I saw pop up, um, I was at work that day, and he had said that I can host. She's not here. All right, and you submitted those to the court? Yes. All right, so Mr. Trujillo, you wrote, Morning, delicious lady. Thank you for taking a moment out of your day to message me. Be patient, and I'll get back to you. Hi, sexy. I'm 7.5 thick and can host. Uh Uh-huh. There was another message. Yes, there was. All right. Uh, A few days later. Morning, sexy. That's his his line. He likes that. I see. Morning, sexy. (laughs) Good morning. I would love to blank you. (laughs) Horny Hispanic male able to host solo or looking for ongoing threesomes with my wife. That's what I'm talking about, how we discussed um, having threesomes or the couple swap. That's okay, but you know. stayed in there solo or She threesomes. gave me permission. She allowed me Never permission. said that. Yes, you did. You're no, lying. I you didn't. know you're lying. No. Okay, Miss okay. Nana, have you all ever had a conversation about threesomes? No. So you're like, you don't know where this is coming from. No, I don't. She's trying to play the victim, Your Honor. She is lying. Lying. Oh, and you play the victim all quite she does is a lie. bit. That's all she does is So, lie. Mr. Trujillo, you don't deny that you sent these messages? Absolutely not. She can see those messages whenever she wants. She can log into it. She can look at them. She can see everything. So why is the password changed on there then? Because you change it because you get mad that I'm on there doing exactly what you wanted us to do. Yeah, She's changed right. the password three different times. And I told her, I said, why is the password changed? Somebody sent us a message interested in us, she said, I know you're cheating. You're talking to other females. I said, yeah, for the purpose of what we discussed. Because but you are cheating. Okay. And this is one of the reasons you started accusing him of cheating. Oh, yes, Your Honor. I'm just tired of it. I have two boys that I have to raise, and I told him, you keep doing this, we're divorcing, you need to get the hell out of my house, and I'm taking the kids with me. Please tell me you don't have anything else. Well... The lube receipt. All right. I don't even know if I want to know, but tell me what you got. Tell me what what happened. Okay. So I came home from work, and it it was paid for for two lubricants, and that store is not too far from our home. Okay. So you find a receipt, which you submitted to the court... Yes. ...for a three-lube... That's what it says on the receipt, pillow pack, but that's lubricant, correct? Correct. Okay. And... Okay, well, there's the map. There's your house. There's the store. And it was a sex store? Yes. Okay. And 
he hadn't used that or suggested you all use the lubricant, had No. I never want... I'm just not comfortable with that, and I've told him that a million that, times. That's and... not true. That's not true. You I... think he's using this lubricant in your house with all of these messages going back, I can host, I can have you over. He's running to the store, getting the stuff he needs to host. Yes. Well, I'm at work or I'm doing something we, we else. We had used it in, um, in our relationship prior because we had discussed about possibly having anal sex. I went, we had discussed doing it again the night okay, before wait. I bought Please don't tell me anymore. <laughs> I, I, I can't. Well, we gotta know. No, we don't. We have to know. No, we don't. <laughs> what we need to, what, 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 what no. no, we don't. Here's the thing. You're saying that you got this to use with your wife. Yes. Okay, I just want to stop you right there. <laughs> and you're saying, I don't know who he was using them with, but it exactly. wasn't me. It was not me, Your Honor. All right, I don't think I can take any more testimony, Mr. Cutler. I, I, I think, let's, let's look at what we got. But there's so much more. No! <laughs> no. No, I, I'm, I'm not old enough for this conversation, so we're gonna just <laughs> keep it moving. We've got conflicting stories. We need to figure this out. And to do that, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please just put your sister in. Lena Sisko. Ms. Sisko, good day. How are you? Good day, Your Honors. How are you both? Doing good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Yes, Your Honor. I'm a former military interrogator, and I'm certified by the Department of Defense. And shortly after the events of 9-11, I deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where I interrogated members of Al-Qaeda and Taliban. Shortly after that time, I started training law enforcement personnel, military personnel, government agency personnel, and still train them to this day in interview and interrogation techniques. All right, tell us what you did to investigate this case. I had the accused write a witness statement, and I go through that and do a statement analysis. So I'm looking for any indicators of truthfulness and deception. I studied the case file, and I put together an interrogation plan, and then I interrogated Mr. Trujillo to see if he was cheating. As it pertains to Ms. Dana's accusations about the condoms and the lubricant, what did you determine? When I asked Mr. Trujillo about the lubricant, he was very forthcoming with me, and he took me back to that day and told me in detail exactly what happened. And that is an indicator of truthfulness. While he was telling me this, he had great eye contact, which is also another indicator of truthfulness. And then he went on to tell me why he was purchasing them, and that was because he and his wife wanted to have anal sex. When I asked him about the condoms, he, again, he sat up in his chair, had a great eye contact, and spoke with me with open palms. So open palms means, hey, I have nothing to hide. I'm being honest. And again, gave me so much detail that to me, that was a good indicator of truthfulness. He also told me the story that he shared with you all in court about how his mother called into the phone and how his mother told the both of them that she indeed gave him the condoms because she didn't want him to have any more children. So what about the dating sites that we've heard testimony about? What, what happened with those? He admitted to me about propositioning two women on the dating sites, and he also admitted to having sex with both of them at separate times. Wow. Oh, boy. Ms. Dana, I presume this is the first you've heard of this. Yeah. You did not know no, that not. not one, but two women had been to your home to have sex with your husband. Your Honor, she knew about it, and she, not only did she know, but she was up to the idea of having the threesome backed out and then told me I could sleep with these women. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Trujillo, I'm looking at the expression on her I face. I never said that. The expression on her face does not look like a woman who She's knew. a great liar. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. A professional, even. All right. I would go so far as to say a professional liar. Okay. Not true. All right. Miss Cisco. Yes, Your Honor. What was your conclusion after you completed your investigation? Mr. Trujillo was so forthcoming with me with all the details. He didn't withhold anything. And everything that he shared in court with you all, he shared with me as well. I saw no indicators of deception. 
And he also informed me a lot of information about not just the accusations, but about the relationship as well. And when I asked him, how do you feel about your wife and this marriage? He said, you know, I don't know if it can survive. Hmm. How are you feeling? He discussed it with him. Yeah. Angry? Very hurt, angry, and I just want a co-parent and that's it. I want nothing to do with him. Miss Evans, you believed that you had met the perfect Southern gentleman and were considering marriage, but now all of that is in question. Would you share with the court what is at stake today? Yes, Your Honor. What's at stake today is my relationship. I've been in this relationship and I'm just not sure about some things. So what I'm looking for is a marriage and I'm looking for commitment. And I'm not willing to waste my time. So I'm here today to get answers and that's what I would like. All right. You want to know, is this the one? That's correct. I want to make sure. And if he's the one, you ready to do this thing? That's right. All right. And you're All not right. sure he's the one because you think what? That he could be cheating on me, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Jones. Yes, sir. She says she thinks you might be the one. Yes, sir. But she needs to find out if he's cheating on her. <laughs> she is the one? Yes, ma'am. I believe she is. Is All she right. the only one? She's the only one. All right. And are you the one? Yes, sir. I am the one. You're the one? Yes, sir. And she's your one and only? She's my one and only. Okay. Well, if you thought he was a Southern gentleman, what did he do to make you think that when you met him? When I first met Dale, we were at a barbecue. So we were at like a family gathering or whatever with some mutual friends. And so I seen Dale come in, but I didn't know it was him at that time. Uh-huh. So when I seen him, I said, ooh, who is that? He is fine. But... You see how she did that? I mean, uh -huh. look, not, not just the neck, the whole body moved. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that? Look, He's look, fine. look. Right, look. so when we did finally hook up, they introduced us or whatever, and from that moment, we've been inseparable. Um, we dated for about two months, and then we moved in together. Okay. Or whatever. So that's how quick it was. Like, I, I was infatuated by him. She was like, ooh, look at that. And then that was the one. They were trying to... I know that was like, what? No, it wasn't just, ooh, look at that. It was, ooh, look at that. You got to get the shoulders into it. Come on, do it with it. Come on. <laughs> get the shoulders with it. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she did the shoulders like, ooh, look at that. I, you, yeah. you are very taken with that part. It is, because it reminds me of... I don't know. <laughs> what does well, that remind you of? My memory of when we first met was you looked at me, you were like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> Now, are you saying that? Now, now it, wait, it's, wait, it's wait, been wait. a number of years. Maybe uh -uh. my memory's a little fuzzy. Maybe it's a little colored. <laughs> but in my mind, the way I see it, the way I remember it. That's was, what I did when I saw you? Yeah, it was like, Ooh, Did you see that. me do that or did I tell you that? In my mind, <laughs> in my mind, <laughs> look. That, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, you had a cute thing working, but I don't know if it was all the shoulders into it or not. I just, I'm not sure about that. I'm just not sure about that. W agree to disagree. Okay, that's where we are. All that's right, Mr. Are. Jones. Yes, sir. When you first saw Miss Evans, did you, ooh, look at that. Did you do that? Yes, sir. Well, when I first met her, it was like, this too, this too perfect. You know? Uh-huh. And it was just like, everything was clicking, and like, we were laughing, we were getting along. And then the actual sexual part came about, and man. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. All right. Woo! Wait a minute, I just got to sweat actually, on, wouldn't it? Wait. <laughs> I was ready to propose that night. You were, oh! See? All right, Miss right Evans. Now, I was ready. Woo, I feel woo, like woo. I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that look on his face when he went, Boy, it was wild. I mean, that's that's the equivalent of the shoulder thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the shoulder thing. A little thing. bit more than the shoulder there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay. I, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> yes, sir. So you got this perfect relationship. Everything's going fine. Uh, but then things weren't going fine. What was the first red flag that you saw? One night, we were cooking. And Dale was in the kitchen, and I was in the living room. Okay. And so the phone is going off. Just, just beeping and beeping and beeping. So I'm really not paying no attention or whatever because I'm out of Your phone or his phone? His, Dale's phone. His phone. Okay. Okay. And something's like, look at the phone. You know how women intuition goes? Yeah, oh, yeah. And so 
I look at the phone and once I start scrolling down, I start seeing text messages. And so one was like, I can't wait to see you tonight. Then I scroll down a little bit further and I see a nude picture in the phone. So I'm like, really? So at this point, I'm off the couch, I'm in the kitchen and I'm in Dale's face. And I'm like, what is this and what is going on? And you submitted the text and the photos to the court, correct? Yes, I did submit it to the court. Okay, this is your recollection of what you saw. Yes, that's correct. All right, and then you scroll a little bit on the phone and you find the pictures. Yes. All right. Mr. Jones, why are you getting naked photos? Well, well, the naked photo came from Facebook. Um, a, a girl, she do, she take twerk videos and she take pictures. If you like the picture or you comment on the picture, she send pictures to your inbox. Oh, With... sounds like a block needs to be put on. But anyway, I was entertaining the Facebook and entertaining the pictures. I saved the picture from my phone and sent it to my homeboy phone to show him because we had the same girl. What? We, we, we ended up getting a picture of the same girl. So I sent the picture to him to show him I had the girl, too, in my phone, too. You know, she sent me a picture, too. Okay, so this woman that you have a picture of who sent you these inappropriate pictures... Yes. She twerks online for folk? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so it's not... You're saying she doesn't just twerk for you, she twerks no, for she anybody twerk who for shows up. Whoever okay. liked the picture, she twerk. She and twerking. So, and so... She and, she, and she twerk for you, she twerk for your friends. Yeah, she twerking for everybody. She'll twerk, she'll twerk, twerk for you, too, Yana, if you, you know... <laughs> Well, she ain't twerking for me no more. If either. there's gonna be any twerking he sees, it's gonna be me twerking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why you all Oh, wait. <laughs> Bet. Bet. <laughs> He's like, Bet. Bet. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and pick it back up again. All right, Mr. Cutler. But all at right. The the, at the end of the day, it, it was a move that I, I, don't, I don't plan on making again. All right. Have you found anything else to make those sirens go off? Yes, I have, Your Honor. Now, T me and Dale, we share a car. I reach down on the floor and I find a box of condoms oh. on my floor in the car. Now, not only do I find a box of condoms, it's a box of condoms, the, co the condom box is open and it's a condom missing. Oh. So, yeah, needless to say, that's a big siren and a big red flag. Do you all use condoms? No, we don't use okay. condoms at Mr. All. Jones. Woo, 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 woo. That's, that's a big siren going off right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a big siren, but it's, it's a couple of explanations for that. Yeah, I, I can of... think of a couple of explanations <laughs> and so can Ms. Evans. That's right. That's why you're standing right there. She's got an explanation yeah. for uh -huh. it. Yes, sir. I want to hear what your explanation is. Well, I, a few months back, I went to this AIDS awareness um, testing. They give everybody condoms. Okay. For um, protection. So uh, that day there, I got... That's where I got the condoms from that day. It was so nice of them to give you a box of open condoms. No, no, <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> right. It, I mean, it was so generous of them. <laughs> it wasn't even a box of condoms. I don't know, like... That's why I'm saying it could have been a couple of things, Yana, because I didn't even receive a box I seen of condoms. a box of condoms. I received a pack of condoms. That was open. So I never... Two, and it was supposed to be three I never had condoms. a box of condoms. Well, okay, I whether it was a, a box, whether it was a, a pack, pack or whatever, I didn't see that. The, the key thing that you're kind of skipping over is one was missing. Yes, sir. And you all don't use them. So, who did you use that condom with? My nephew came and borrowed my car. He could have had the condoms in there. But doesn't that sound just like just one step above the dog ate my homework? Just, 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 a, just a, a step above. Yeah. But you know what? Here's the thing. If he's a young man, I presume he's a young man. Yes, ma'am. It's possible. It's possible. He likes to have sex in the car, too, Yana. So that's another reason that makes me... Wait, wait, wait. And you know this How personally? Do you know this? Yes, I do know this personally. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah? So the fact that you found condoms in your car, I mean, that immediately made your sirens go off again. That's that... correct. Sirens, woo, 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 woo. Uh-huh, big yeah. sirens going off. Mm hmm I mean, it's a lot of maybes, a lot of probably. I mean, there's no real direct explanation. I understand. But my question, I want to go and find out what else you've tried to do as a private investigator to see if he's cheating. 
So, this particular night, Dale was supposed to be working. Okay. And I drove by Dale's job. And when I drove by Dale's job, of course, I didn't see the car. The car's not there. So, I had been calling and calling and calling. So, about an hour later, I get a phone call from Dale, and he's all frantic, like, oh, my God, hey, babe, I see you've been calling me. Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. Because, for one, I've drove by your job, you're not there, and then, for two, you're not answering the phone. So, he claimed that he was at work or whatever, but I'm not sure. Just another lame excuse to me, because when I looked for myself, he wasn't there. Oh, you submitted a picture? Yes, and... I did, Your Honor. Okay, what are we like... looking at? Okay, what we're looking at is the park lot of his job, the circle right there in the middle. That's where the car should have been parked at. All right, Mr. Jones, where were you? Well, I never was completely honest about her, to her about where my car was at the time, but my nephew had my car. <laughs> 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 Let me look. <laughs> nope, it doesn't say you were born last night. So. <laughs> well, why would you be untruthful if your family... Fair... Because I was really sorry to cut y'all, ma'am. I was really pretty much tired of going through the trust issues and the questioning every other day about what I'm doing, what's this, what's that, what's this. So, I was at, at that point, I was kind of fed up with the explaining and the... So, I was like, just think what you want to think. I'm, I'm tired, I mean... Okay, so she confronts you about your car not being at the job. Yeah. What do you say in response? That your nephew had the car? I didn't say nothing at that time. You mean okay. now? No, no, what did you tell her at the time? Nothing, I, was just, I just hung up the phone. I was tired of dealing with the, the trust issues. Like, you don't came to my job, really? So, the first time you're hearing about his nephew had the car is today? Yes. And so, is that another sign for yeah. you? That, that is another sign for me. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. I want to know what's really going on. I really do love Dale, but I just really want to know what's going on. So, Mr. Jones, you're sticking with your story that this is all a misunderstanding. Yes, sir. A series of misunderstandings and just unfortunate I, coincidences. I, I, I probably won't even say a misunderstanding. I would say more of just a, a distrust issue. I mean, it's like blown out of proportion more than what <laughs> it is today. So, do you think this is something that she just wants to see these things so she's seeing them? I think so. That's what I you think? I think it's, like, something that's ongoing. That my I'm, time I'm is valuable, and I don't backlash. have time to waste my time. I think it's like my time is really valuable, and I don't have time to waste my time. Okay. I'm looking for marriage. I want to be married. I want a family. That's what I want. Well, Mr. Cutler, we're at the point we're gonna find out is he a Southern gentleman or a Southern cheater? We have done a full investigation. At this time, the court would like to call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf and licensed certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> So, Mr. Wolf, you performed a forensic voice analysis on Mr. Jones. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. Lawrence, you completed a polygraph examination of Mr. Jones. Is that correct? That's correct, ma'am. All right. Mr. Wolf, let's take a look at the first question you asked. Yes, ma'am. Since the beginning of your relationship with Ms. Evans, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than her? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Mr. Lawrence, you asked the identical question. Yes, ma'am. What was his response? He said no. What did the polygraph exam determine? The law detector determined that he was being deceptive. Mr. Jones, you can't blame this one on the nephew. <laughs> Who were you with and why? I haven't been with nobody. All right. It's gonna be that party, Mr. Cutler. Mr. Wolf, let's take a look at the second question that was asked of Mr. Jones. Were the condoms Miss Evans found in your car used by you for sexual intercourse with another woman? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being deceptive, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. 
And Mr. Lawrence, you asked the identical question, correct? That's correct. What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he is being deceptive. Mr. Jones, it's time to come clean. Who were you with and why? I mean, the only person I can think of is my ex. All right. You, you have been with your ex since you've been in the relationship with Miss Evans. Yes. More than once? Yes. Okay. Now, Miss Evans, you need to give him the truth about where this relationship is going. Well, Dale, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I want to continue this right now. Unless you can show something different, I'm, I'm good. You all have been married for three years, and together you have eight children. Is that right? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Right? Now, Ms. Dargan, for the record, you are a successful recording artist, yep. writer, producer, and TV star who goes by the name Lil Mo. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And Mr. Dargan, you are a professional boxer and are a Pan Am Games gold medalist. Is yes, that right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Now, Ms. Dargan, uh, you have petitioned this court for a lie detector test to uncover the truth. Explain that, please. Well, my intuition hasn't failed me before. This is my third marriage, okay? This is calls first. I don't want to get to a certain point in our relationship and it all go downhill. So I want to nip it in the bud right here, right now. I need clarity and I need closure. I think we owe it to each other to just get this behind us. We dust it under the rug, but if it's going to continue to be an issue, then we got to figure this thing on out, how we can move forward. Because we are in love, but baby... <laughs> you know, what love got to do with it? Hello? So... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so your... Your woman's intuition, your gut... Yes. ...is telling you there's something amiss. You know, when people see that you're making noise and they know that you're doing big things, they want to be a part of that. So even as much as a follow can be considered, like, flirting. Right. So I just want to make sure it's just nothing extra going on and that he's just telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help him, you, you know, your honor. Right. Basically. So, Mr. Okay. Dargan, you're here to prove that you've been faithful to her. Yes, your honor. Right? What do you want to tell her? Well... The internet, the media, social media basically doesn't lie what a lot of people would say. They really doesn't have any proof of any, basically any, any of this. So she wants closure. And I told her before, whatever she want to do to make her happy, let's get, it, let's get it done. All right, so these headlines that we see that Lil Mo's husband is cheating and all of that, mm -hmm. you're here to say that that's all false. Pretty much. There's no yeah, truth to him. He said no, pretty sir. much. That, that's not a yes or a no. Is it no or is it pretty much? Like, eh, some of it could be true. No, Your Honor. I have not cheated on my wife. So All right, I just want to be clear because when you say right. pretty much, I'm like... That could be a... Uh... All right, so, no, in, in my life, I always have my wife with me just so I can't even mistakenly or accidentally, <laughs> you know, fall into a, 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 a death trap. trap or something. <clears throat> but you would agree with me. You can't accidentally or mistakenly fall into another woman's bed. That's that's that. Oh, that's of half the stuff don't be in no bed. Yes. <laughs> you can't fall. You can't accidentally or mistakenly fall in nobody's back seat. People don't even make it to the bed no more. If you're gonna cheat, it's gonna happen wherever you at. And I just make it sure it ain't happened where nobody was at. All right. So, Miss Darden. Yes. Tell me how the two of you got together. Take me back to the happy times. Well, we got time. No. We still have. Oh, we yeah, still have. Yeah, we got happy. a little time. Oh, yeah, no, we still have. But you know, every couple, every marriage has its issue. So we've known each other actually before my first marriage. So over oh. 15 years. Okay. So we've been before rocking. Little Mo's first marriage, not Cynthia's. Cynthia's. Yeah. This is yeah. Cynthia's first marriage. Yeah, that's a whole oh. thing. So, yes, Little okay. Mo was married before because you know I, I always wanted to you know 
the fa I grew up family. My parents been married over 40 years. Okay. So that's all I know is family. That's my foundation. So that's what I've always been in search for. I never wanted the fame. I always wanted the family. So 15 years ago, his cousin, they had tried to book me for an event. That's when everything was popping. I was that girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody knew because I got the blue hair back, but I had the braids. So I was on the scene, and when he tried to talk to me before, because I am older than him, it's not a decade, but I'll say eight and a half, nine years, if you count, carry the one, 365, whatever the case. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> we just been friends for, for every child that I've had born. So, it's like eight years. Uh, we have a 15-year-old, that's our oldest, and we have a baby that's two years old. So, in between oh. there, you know, there was a couple of marriages. But he's always been like that friend. If you need me, knock somebody out. I got you. So, my second divorce, as little Mo was basically almost done. And I wasn't looking, but I was just like, you know what? It's always good to have somebody that you can lean on and that got your back. Right. So the Ravens were playing. That was the year that they won the Super Bowl, so they were playing a game. But it was snowing. I had on my oh. fur, but I had on some cut-up jeans. So my arms was covered, but my butt was out. <laughs> okay. So he gave me the pants that he had on. So off top, oh. yeah. Yeah. So basically, he was Don't telling forget. me off top. I, I ain't never forget he let me wear the pants in a relationship. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Basically. listen. Okay. I've heard of giving the shirt off your back. Yeah. But you gave the, the pants, pants off, off your, your bottom. Yeah. yeah, of course. At the end of the day, you know, fast forward, um, I was going to L.A. from Baltimore. I was like, listen, I'm leaving soon. I have to go out there for work. And, um, listen, you can hang in there or you can just... Like, what you want to do? I didn't give him an ultimatum because I was still healing. I wasn't hurting but I was still healing. Okay. And with that, I was asking, was he in any situations? Because I don't deal with married or men that are in relationships right. no more. Because I've done that before. And that's not cute. I have daughters, and at the she same time, I don't want the... I'm talking, baby. Because I'm just trying... Oh, no. okay. I'm not trying to be funky, but I'm just, like, trying to get the point across. Like, we've been rocking for years. What, what is it about Cynthia that you like? Mm. No one has Cynthia. They don't know who Cynthia is. Wow. Who is okay. Cynthia? Tell us who Cynthia oh, is. Man. Look at her. Look at that smile. No, oh. See, Cynthia no, is, no, is the person under the wig. <laughs> okay, so Cynthia is the person behind the scene. So, Cynthia what, is what the kind mother, of person the, is Cynthia? The mother, the wife. Cynthia is not an entertainer. Cynthia is not a singer. You know, Cynthia uh, is uh, a loving mother, a loving wife, you know, and she was basically, you could tell she was, she's about her business. And not by saying that, meaning she don't depend on anybody for anything. So she's used to being a superwoman. Right. It's like your song. Yeah. You, live in, you live in the music. Yeah, so... So yeah. what is it about your husband, that one piece that's like, I can't live without this, that's about him? He's, a pro he's very protective. I've never been protected before. Aww. Very. Like, I'm about to... Yeah. How does, it, how does he protect okay. you? Tell us about that. He just does, man. He just... He just does. This is the first time in my life I can say I'm really, genuinely, authentically happy from mentally, physically, emotionally. My children are happy. So I'm not... Le I'm not... Comp it's not for, up for debate. My happiness, right, and my peace at this point is not up for compromise. So we gotta get to the bottom of this, for real. <laughs> so... Okay, you need to be the protector, not only of her physically, but of her spirit. You don't want to break man. her. Yeah. You don't want to break her. Mm -hmm. And even though she's little Mo and she got her thing going and all that, she's a woman named Cynthia. That's what you called her. And you need to protect that person, because that person is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She can be your superwoman. In fact, I think she's being your superwoman. You need to be... You need to be her superman so y'all can be super people together. Right. And with all these super kids. Right. Okay, it was a couple of years ago. It was like in the summer, and I remember I was leaving my sister's salon, and he drove me there because he's my security as well. <laughs> like, every, for real, every for move real. I make, like, he's my secret service. You feel me? I got so, you. It was just like, um, we were coming out and he was like, babe, I need to talk to you about something. And he was like, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I said, oh, God, what? 
he was just like, here, look at this. He showed me his phone. He was like, my friend, one of his friends had said, look what's on social media. So I said, what's this about? He was just like, I'm gonna just tell you straight up. He said, I never did anything with her. He said, I should have not even had these conversations, but I left it at that. He said, as soon as I told her, you know what, this is wrong, I gotta, like, why am I even having these conversations with you? That's what, well, I'm gonna tell. And then it started getting to the point, well, if you give me money or whatever, I'll make this go away. But the headlines were saying it said, Lil Mo caught her husband. That was cheating. a lie. That you was didn't... a lie. No, I never caught him at anything because I don't look for anything. Okay. You but feel a, me? But a lot of blogs ran with this story. Of course they do. That's what they do. Uh, they are on their job. But I'm just like, well, can I see what this person looks like? Then I went to their page and I said, this bag of laundry, look at... No, that's what we not finna do. That's what we not finna do. Okay, so, I mean, we did our research. The court has done okay. its research and all these blogs reached 150 million people. Yeah. Oh, they all it. seeing your, your life playing out, allegations that your husband is cheating on you. Yeah. And I personally think I could have been with anybody in my life at, a at the time and it wouldn't have even expanded to that, you know, to that level. But because but you're because with Lil Mo... Exactly, because, because... Exactly. So when you see these blogs and all that he's cheating, what do you say to your husband? Um, I'll just ask him straight up, like, what's going on? Because we don't play those type of games and my revenge is... Mm, I'm a Scorpio. All right, so, so you got to sting. So, okay. Okay, so she, when she comes to you and says, hey, I'm reading all this, all of this social media, what do you say to her? I'm always truthful. Okay. Right, whether, so, it, so... Whether, it, whether it hurts you or not, I will always give my, honest, my honesty and at the end of the day, I'll let y'all decide you want to deal with it or not. I don't just lie or finesse to make it sound good. Mr. Dargan, how do these rumors get started? Because they find out who I'm with. Who I'm with. So it's not because somebody sees you with somebody or somebody sees an innocent uh, contact taken out of context. All the time. I mean, we see these rumors I'll, all the time. I'll, How do they get started? I will tell you one thing. No one can ever say they saw me with anyone. All right, Mr. Dargan, let's just set the record straight. How many women have you had sex with since you've been married? Again, be, uh, none. Mm -hmm. Like, again, like I said, like, she's with me 99% of the time, you know? And, and early in, like, in my life, I've been, I've been hurt before in my life, you know? My heart's been broken, so it took me a long time to, to gain trust in a woman again. Well, All right, so what so, you're telling the court is these rumors is not like somebody took something out of context. These rumors are just completely false. But here's a problem, love, and this is what I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. They were lifting allegedly lifting text messages between you and another female. What was that about? I mean, were they actually your no, text message this, or no. DMs between her? Oh, I can say one thing. A lot of my friends don't have social media. Associates. Although for... uh, a, a couple of my friends doesn't have a social media, you know, so I'll let them go ahead and talk to people on my, it's my social media. But a lot of people know it's them. So are you saying to the court that the messages that were published were not your messages, but some of your associates' messages. Yes. How I look at it is like, yo, I'm putting you on. That's what yeah, I'm but, saying. but do your associates know that your wife is little Mo yes! and that this could hurt her? Yes. And they they don't don't care. Care. See, y'all understand from my point of view. Okay. My point of view is the person, the female, no, it's not me. Are you so sure you, about that? So oh, yes. No, no, no. But here's the problem. This female or friend A could take that and use it against you. What I told And you. use it against you. And, and they did. Well, and what's to stop an associate, if he's already using your social media account, what's to stop them from taking the next step and pretending to be you? If using your social media account Hello? gets them play, what do you think actually being you is going to get them? Hello? Yeah. Clap. Clap. The reason why I say that, too, and I tell them, be careful, because everybody wants to be famous for some odd reason, but they can't handle what comes along with this, with everything. Okay, so what does it feel like as a celebrity and then as a woman to be dealing with these allegations with your spouse? As a celebrity, I'm used to it. But as a wife, and because I care this time, and because I'm passionate, it hurts. People think cheating is just the actual sexual contact or whatever oh, no, they no, say. No. Cheating is flirt is flirting. Cause I can say, I'll be like, if I say, man, you look beautiful today, I'll be like, okay, Mr. Cutler, I see your shape up is popping, but then you you keep it right there. But I ain't got no business sending that to you, no secret message. Right. right. 
Little Mo said my shape up is pop. <laughs> Little oh, Mo, you about to get him in trouble. That's what you about to get him in trouble. Give me some. Mr. Cullen, I give you some all the time. I'm okay. always telling you how much I agree. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look, I might end up in the, in the blog talking about Little Mo said uh, Judge Cutler's uh, <laughs> shape up is popping. <laughs> yeah. I might be in the blog. Here's <laughs> look, if it's in the blog, you know what happened. I, I was right here. You were right here. Ms. Darden, this is the only allegation of cheating that you experienced. Is that correct? Every year it happens at the same time. And then people always slide me a message. This one lady said, somebody was just like, hey, pay me this amount to make it go away. I said, well, you should have got some money if you was allegedly with him, whatever the case may be, because you ain't getting a dime from me.